Good day, good afternoon, good evening everyone. This is Viper AS for Viperland, and today I'm back with another guide for EDF 4.1, The Shadows of New Despair. This is going to be a guide to how to get the trophy Let Them Eat Cake, which is to kill 24 queens, ant queens, and as of the time of this recording, only 3% of people have it according to psmprofiles.com. And that's just criminally low it's so easy to do so you go to mission inferno you have to have inferno unlocked not that difficult uh inferno the mission not inferno the difficulty can be done on any difficulty so clearly easy would be the easiest one can be done with any class but bring at least a decently powerful weapon because you have to get the final hit on the ant queens for it to count towards your tally thus i'd also recommend doing this single player i haven't tried it multiplayer i d haven't tested it i don't know if final kills from other people count. So at the start of the mission, pretty much just blow up the Hectors. You can let them get to you, but I mean it's a lot easier to do it this way. Another reason I like this mission is because pretty much you can do nothing but blow up the airships at the very, or the dropships at the very end of the mission, and all your other people are still honestly gonna complete the mission for you. Doing it on easy means everything dies a lot quicker, everything goes faster. You're not going to get any decent weapon drops, but eh, I mean, you're not doing this for weapon drops, you're doing this for a trophy. So honestly, after blowing up those initial three hectares, you can just kind of run around and gather your teammates. Doesn't matter too much at this rate, like, I'd also recommend either a powerful long range, like a uh, mid range weapon, or a homing weapon that can lock onto multiple targets depending on your class, because there's a lot of stuff to kill. Your allies will take care of it. You could honestly just sit still and not die, and everything will go down. You don't have to do it, but it speeds things up. You can also use this mission to farm some armor crates, but the bit we're waiting for starts as soon as we clear out all of this wave of enemies. At the start of wave two, four queens will spawn. If you're doing it on easy difficulty, and you have the monster or a long-range weapon of equivalent power, or even decent power, honestly, you can one-shot them. And four per mission means you can do this in six missions. Uh, though you do, would already have to have killed a queen to get to this point in the game. So, and if you're not doing it on easy, sometimes one of your guys will steal the kill. They'll get the last hit on them. So it's not always exactly six repetitions, but figure six or seven. And they honestly go pretty quick and have a ton of armor crates. Well, weapon crates, not so much. But armor, especially if you're wing diver. It's a decent way to just fly around, let all your allies kill them, and grab the stuff. I wish I had brought a homing weapon instead of a single target, but we're almost done with wave one. Wave two goes very fast, and it starts out with four. Oops, pardon me, four queens. So it's a pretty. It's the fastest way I've found out to get this trophy. There are missions later that will also have queens, but they're longer missions, as well as the fact that they just simply don't spawn as many. And they don't have as many allies that are just gonna do the rest of the mission for you. So there you go. Wave 1 is down. Wave 2 spawns 4 queens of the distance, and if you're on easy, they get one-shotted. If you're on normal, it takes 2 charged monster shots to kill them, but even then you can still do it before they really ever reach any of your allies thus letting them not get kill steals. After that, it's really just the drop ships. Your allies don't do a good job of taking down those ships. So really, as long as you can last hit an Ant Queen and manage to pull down one of those drop ships, you can do this mission. So there's four Ant Queens. Then it's just a matter of dropping the drop ships, and that's the end of it. Not very difficult. If you delay too long, they will send in railgun support which has a pretty decently high chance of taking down the Ant Queens for you. So do try and take them out before that happens. Not the end of the world if they kill one or two, but it will mean you'll have to take a few more repetitions of this mission just to get the trophy. And this is all about doing it. There you go, there's the Railgun. A Railgun is not very good at taking down the dropship, so you don't... Like, it's not going to help with that, but it will take out the Ant Queens very, very efficiently. So there you go. The dropships are going down, the red guys in the sky kind of suck, but they'll die. That's really about all there is to it. You just, when you're done with it, go back to this mission and kill four ant queens again. Repeat until you get the trophy. 
Uh, it will be a little sad that one of my rarer trophies will now be a little more common, but it's just so easy. I couldn't help but, like, make a guide and show people how to get it. Hopefully this helped people out, and I look forward to seeing a lot of people getting that trophy. Uh, thank you for watching, and tune in next time for more guides.